Hello, my name is Scott. I'm with Global Electronic Services, and today I have a Yukin directional valve. Customers stated that the valve or spool will not shift in either direction. Now come on in and let's take a look. Now first, I will take the coils off. Coil nut. These are the coils. And what I do is I check for visual cracks, chips. I'll take my tubes. We'll take these off. Each tube has an O-ring and a spring. And it's got a key that slides back and forth within the tube. And this is operated by your coil. This is a tube, O-ring, spring, slide hex key. Now I'll take the spool out of the directional valve. Next, we're going to check for fatigue and wear on our springs. No wear on the springs, no fatigue, springs look good. Also want to check your tubes. Flush and clean, make sure there's no contaminants on the inside, and always change your O-ring. Now I'm going to take the body, flush, and we're going to clean it, and get all contaminants, if any, out of the valve. Now we're really going to take a closer look at this spool. As I rotate the spool around, you definitely can see some wear and tear in the spool right here underneath my thumb. That is the reason the customer sent it in. This is why the spool is not shifting. And also we have a flat spot on the spool and this is not allowing the spool to shift. Now what we'll do is we'll go get us a new one out of stock. Now we'll take our new spool, we'll put it in the valve body housing. Do not force the spool into the valve body or you'll cause damage. Now what we'll do is we'll make sure the spool is free, slides back and forth, which it does, great deal. Second, we put our washers. After replacing the washers, your keys, key, slide the key down in the tube. Give it a tap, make sure it seats down in there well. Add your spring. Put it on there about finger tight. Go ahead, set the valve back down, and go ahead and do your other side of your tube. We apply our little washer on the spool. And we screw our tube on. After screwing on the tubes with your hands, snug them down, finger tight, then take your wrench and just enough to where that seat's down in there and it's got good pressure up against the O-ring. Then we'll apply coil. We check for cracks, wear, make sure the coil's good. Attach, nut. You want to put the nut on just about finger tight. Right.
Valve is complete. Now on the back side of the valve, we will install our new O-rings. With every repair, we replace with all new O-rings. O-rings are all seated on the bottom of the valve. Valve is ready for testing. Now we'll take our valve over to our hydraulic pressurizing machine and have it tested. Our valve body is hooked up and ready to go. This is our test cylinder. This will show if the spool on the inside of the valve is shifting properly. In and out on the cylinder, spool shifting in and out. Okay, now we're going to apply 24 volts to our coil. 24 volts shifting. This shifts this spool off. Let's go to the other spool. 24 volts shifts our other coil, shifting the spool in the other direction. And this is why we call it a directional valve. One way shift, the other way shift. Directional. Let's turn our machine on. Excellent. This is telling me that our valve is shifting properly and shifting like it should be under 1200 PSI. And that is going to be our full testing on our directional valve. Thank you very much. I'm Scott and I work with Global Electronic Services. Thank you.